Hi everyone, welcome to Yorpedia. This is Chandrasekhar, faculty at Yorpedia. In this video, we are going to see how to fill the application form for IIT Jodhpur for a self-sponsored MTech without gate. So with gate, it is possible to apply if and only if you have CVO AP registration number. Without CVO AP registration number, we can apply for MTech self-sponsored okay the same we are going to do but uh, this uh, website see admissions to mtech degree programs uh, yes uh, 2025 and 2026 here uh, you see you can, you can find closing date here declaration of results here apply to click here advertisement details here if you want you can click for advertisement all the details will be very clearly mentioned at the advertisement okay what all the advertisement we have what all the details uh, we want to see at the advertisement sir see uh, if you are from electrical uh, for which mtech specializations you can apply if you are from computer science background which mtech specializations you can apply you are eligible and uh, related to i can say uh, your uh, if you are from uh, not from gate then uh, uh, to which you need to uh, which option you have to select suppose uh, 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 mainly at the stipend okay uh, teaching assistant strip, uh, ship will be there uh, so regarding those details also uh, in this advertisement uh, they are present yes i am clicking there i am clicking there yes we can get the complete advertisement you see department see see uh, here uh, admission to mtech degree programs for 2025 and 2026 he mentioned so department uh, see electrical engineering if you see i told you uh, electrical engineering guys uh, are eligible to apply for iot okay mtech in sensors and uh, internet of things uh, mtech in cyber physical systems mtech in intelligence communication systems mtech in intelligence system don't think that uh, sir what about ec guys electrical means both ec and electrical both are combinedly both are combinedly right uh, now that is uh, that one right uh, uh, here uh, different types of mtech programs we have full time uh, with stipend uh, full time without stipend uh, part time and uh, sponsored category so full time regular eligible for assistantship uh, so must have gate score must have valid gate score full time okay if you if you want to go for full time with assistantship must have gate score full time regular without assistantship or fellowship uh, for for this also gate score is required for in campus candidate in campus candidate register for uh, for full up to permissible credits per semester a gate qualified candidate will be admitted under this category without financial support the admitted candidate may be awarded fellowship in the subsequent semester based upon availability of financial resources uh, right okay uh, self sponsored in campus candidate who can register up to full permissible credits per semester but is not eligible to receive fellowship and see here a full time regular without assistantship initially they won't be giving you any assistantship after the first semester depending on the availability of the uh, finance they will be able to give you but uh, this self sponsored never you can get the i can say uh, assistantship full time sponsored in campus candidate who can register up to full credit uh, permissible per semester and it is and is sponsored by his or her employer sponsored fee will be will not be uh, will be notified by the institute part time part time online part time project sponsored right so these many things are there but for us uh, either first one or second one see with get or without get and we want assistantship so you do not get confused by reading all that that's why i am reading and I'm explaining you have to select if you have a valid gate score right uh, full time eligible for assistantship or without assistantship and uh, this video is related to self sponsored self sponsored means you do not have gate score and uh, you are not expecting any sponsorship yes uh, in this see this video is related to category 3 if you have gate score then uh, you must have coap number one coap website starts then you can fill uh, with gate score but this video is strictly related to self-sponsored category right now that 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 is about that one and last date is 15th april 2025 15th april 2025 eligibility for the admission eligibility for the admission he very clearly mentioned here right uh, for biosciences see yeah uh, he is asking qualifying degree gate requirements so if you want to go through gate right uh, see btech see this is through gate gate requirements is this one if you want to go for for bioscience and bioengineering in the initial stage i, I shown you uh, bioscience what are the branches uh, electrical engineering what are the branches for, for example let me take uh, here uh, for artificial intelligence csc department okay first uh, many students are aspiring to go for art, artificial intelligence let's uh, see about this one see gate requirement is valid gate score of cs or it or e or ec or da so these are the valid gate scores most of the e students ec students ask sir i want to do my masters in artificial intelligence can i apply at iit jodhpur with the e gate score or ec gate score yes you are eligible 
yes you are eligible sir without gate score yeah sir this you told that this video is related to without gate score but you are explaining about gate so just to spread the information but here without gate score also yes sir, without gate score also btech or bs program of uh, uh, four years from any of the cfti's uh, centrally funded technical institutes uh, means iits nits or central universities uh, right uh, um, uh, 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 um, um, statistics uh, cpi or cgpa 8 out of 10 cgpa c or cgpa 8 out of 8 out of 10 see you must be very careful observe here you must have your bachelor's degree from either cfti or you must have cgpa at least 8 out of 10 or above at least 8 out of 10 you both are eligible don't think that uh, i must have a degree from cfti and i must have a uh, cgpa of 8 out of 10 not required see he clearly mentioned bs or btech or bs program of four years from any of the cfti's uh, m statistics with cpa or cgpa 8 out of 10 or above right if you have you are not from cfti you are not from iit or nit you are not from any central university but you are from your uh, local college but you have cgpa 8 out of 10 then you are happily uh, you can happily apply right yes sir uh, see he is asking um, btech or ms program any of the any of the branch of engineering any of the branch of engineering and even statistics also right but the gate score you see that is restricted restricted not for all the branches cs it e ec and da only for computer science right in the same way for all these things it is very very clearly mentioned for all the branches it is very clearly mentioned now let's go to how to fill the application form our main agenda is how to fill the application form once you go there yes sir, you get uh, uh, if you click here if you click here this is advertisement let me go back let me go back here advertisement click here this is advertisement you are getting sorry again i meant for advertisement only yeah apply application apply click here if you apply to click there yes sir here you get a pop-up like this yes email and password indian Institute of technology jodhpur email and password once you see first of all you need to sign up yes you need to register or sign up after registration only you will be able to uh, put your uh, mail id and password here right so apply uh, see put here you are already logged into the application portal okay fine so it is showing like that why because uh, number of times i logged in why because uh, just to show you once you log in you get uh, first personal information the very first window is uh, see you have to see the above personal information so this is very simple simple thing like uh, uh, name of the applicant other card email and date of birth so name of the applicant uh, as per the 10th class certificate it is the best choice okay so here he mentioned in iit jodhpur application form he mentioned any of the last qualified uh, degree or uh, uh, degree as per the any of the last qualified degree means uh, if you are done with the uh, btech uh, uh, how your name is mentioned in the btech certificate in the same way or uh, you are done with your mtech that way but uh, i suggest always to go with the uh, uh, your 10th class certificate right then other card number yes other card number then mail id then date of birth then uh, mobile number gender and marital status languages known so i know english telugu and hindi that's why all three i mentioned there and address address all these things are very simple things yes here this is important for us preference of disciplinary major center or school course what this is if you are from electrical as i told you if you go to the advertisement you are from electrical uh, through gate you are eligible for a few a few uh, specializations or without gate also you are eligible for without gate uh, we are talking about without gate only you are eligible for uh, if your btech degree is in electrical you are eligible for few specializations those specializations according to your priority you have to fill so uh, cyber physical systems intelligent communication system intelligent vlss system so these are the uh, these are the uh, specializations for which electrical guys are eligible that's why i filled those and here if you see admission category admission category if you click on it uh, you will get a drop down in this one ours is self-sponsored without gate you need to select what self-sponsored without gate right then after that blood group nationality yes uh, uh, disability category name of the parent relationship with the parent uh, and uh, parent or guardian then after that save and continue see city state pin all this is a fundamental data everyone is able to fill it there is no uh, much i can say doubt about it after this you come to academic in the academic yes 10th class yes first so class 10 name of the degree or exam what see class 10 is uh, uh, ssc when i studied it was ssc okay uh, i why because i wrote on state board if you are see cbsc mention that cbsc 
CBSE, right? And uh, higher secondary education, this uh, state board again it is called as intermediate examination. That's why I just wrote it as intermediate examination. So is it from CFTI? No, no. That's why I kept it as others. BE or BTEC? BTEC, right? Uh, mine is not CFTI. That's why I kept it as others. University or board, state board, state board, and mine is uh, JNTU Kakinada. JNTU Kakinada, that's why I filled out there. Year, year of completion, 16, 18, 24. For example, I taken, okay, I did not take any particular year of mine. How many, how, what is your CGPA? Out of what? Out of 10, 9, out of 10, 9, out of 10, 9, I taken randomly. I taken randomly. You can fill your actual data. Now, he is asking us to convert up into percentage, okay. This is very important. Uh, most of the people will fail in doing here. Yes, uh, you need to do that. Then after that, branch specialization or subjects. 10th uh, class, what is a branch specialization? Nothing. But intermediate is, uh, I studied in uh, maths, physics, chemistry. That's why I wrote it as MPC. Then my bachelor's is in uh, electrical and electronics engineering. And uh, here, uh, here rank some random number I mentioned you need not to mention even see you need not to mention see not required to mention the rank okay not required to mention the rank but duration of the program this is very important for 10th class and intermediate he did not mention he mentioned very clearly not required for BTEC it is four years four years for for every year you know 12 months therefore total 48 months I feel here 48 months right so you need to upload mark sheet or grade card you click on upload yes you get this pop-up and choose a file that must be on your desktop or in some folder just uh, you upload it that is a simple task that is very simple task then after that save and continue save and continue so after that uh, see after that you need to upload see academics is done the only thing you need to remember is uh, here very important thing is you need to upload all the documents you need to upload all the documents scanned copies mark sheet pdf files you need to upload okay yes that is one thing another thing is here 48 months btec it is a four years some people do their bachelor's plus masters integrated ms it is bachelor's plus, plus masters ms okay uh, there for them it will be five years okay so you need to put here 60 months according to your degree according to your degree okay right and after that uh, after this you need to go for photo and signature yes uh, photo and signature choose a file choose a file just you upload but he very clearly mentioned yes a uh, supported file type is dot jpg and dot uh, jpg minimum width maximum width height and maximum height and all these things very he very clearly mentioned now the very important point where you need the assistance of your PDI is uh, in writing SOP very clearly saying maximum words are 500 do not write more than 500 okay saying statement of purpose statement of purpose is very very important right once that is done uh, go for continue and uh, save and continue then after that payment yes come to payment you can't go to payment information before completing personal details so few of the personal details i did not upload it uh, if i if i uploaded all the uh, details now then i go for completely i can complete the payment here payment here section is very easy after that uh, print the application application status and log out see application status is not submitted here once uh, you did everything uh, in a very clear way you get you get the status here as a submitted right see if you have any queries uh, related to this application form you can contact us you can contact your pdf right you can contact your pdf right so without gate uh, this is uh, self-sponsored once uh, a coop registration starts then we will be discussing about uh, with gate also here you must remember the uh, these are these are the highlights you need to select if you have if you do not have gate score self-sponsored self-sponsored okay and after that uh, if you have some work experience your work experience also can be asked okay i selected it as not having any work experience and all and uh, go through the advertisement once if you are from which branch you are eligible for uh, uh, which specializations also and uh, according to your uh, interest you can give the priority first one is first priority second one is second priority third one is third priority right all the best ma all the best to all of you